Hi, I am Basant Raj Singh, an Indian senior compositor. We were talking about some notes present in new, which makes procedure automated without any AI. One of such kind node is in paint node. I have this footage and I want to clean this brand name of the charger. I have done the roto and tracking. So first let's stabilize this footage and now take in paint node. So in paint node has three input source, mat and details. Just connect source and just like mark removal node which we talked about in previous video, in paint node also needed alpha. So for that here is input mat connect with the roto fill region. If your footage has alpha and you want to use that alpha, use source alpha. But in our scenario, we did roto and there is mat input here. So we will select mat alpha. If you want to select inverted of the mat alpha, you can select inverted of the mat alpha. So you have multiple options. You can choose as per your requirement. In our scenario, I have mat, so I am choosing mat alpha. As soon as I choose that, if you view from in paint, it's cleaned. We all know just like marker removal node in paint node also cleans on every frame because cleanup happening on every frame sometimes you get flicker between the frame so larger the number reduce the flicker it's more blending it's more the smoothness of the edges but yes if you blur edges too much it's costing your details also so just play with as per your requirement i think in this my default is working fine now there is a lab color space l a b lab is a color space you have to just toggle on and off to see how it's behaving and which gives you that better blended result so you have to just toggle on and off keep the setting which gives you the best result in my scenario both are working same so we are seeing that in paint node quickly clean that brand name of the charger and it's perfectly keeping that all the lighting changes so this is very quick example of the in paint now to understand other settings let's see other footage now i have this footage here also the lighting is changing perspective is changing here i also want to remove this brand name again for make our process little easy i will first stabilize i have roto and i have done the tracking so i will stabilize and i will take in paint node attach source attach mat to the roto and mat alpha and it will gone but if you see closely there is texture in our this box but when cleanup is happening it's completely a smooth and constant light so we need to restore texture we will talk about a stretch just in the next here we are talking about the detail so in details there are two options source and details source take that source input it will take information from this this pipe but if you change to detail you have to attach something to the detail input so first check with the source as soon as you start increasing the amount, it's restoring the original, which we don't want. We want to keep the cleanup, but we want just texture back, not the brand name back. So in source, there is transform. We will give in paint some clean frame with just texture. So just make this one so we can see what's happening here. And now patch this. So we already patched. So what we did, we just taken this texture and patching towards this our cleanup part. The beauty here, this seems like patching, but in paint node, just taking texture into the consideration. And if you play from here, so we can see that in paint node cleaning that patching and it's also keeping texture with the changing lighting condition we can achieve this thing with that detail node also so just copy this in paint node and make this translation zero and connect to the source connect to this mat and now i want to use this detail input just take a transform node see here in paint node we are taking source into the consideration so whatever we are manipulating translation if you need to rotate and scale it's doing everything in the source but as soon as you change the detail the source is unaffected and it will take detail input into the consideration suppose i am just taking translation and i just want to use the same translation this value 96 96 
so actually what i am doing this is my original and i am just shifting and now i have attached to the detail so this is and this is both are same so what we are doing actually here in paint translating source and here i did that translation externally and given that input to the details so now in paint node taking details from the details input so basically this both are the same the beauty is in paint node taking texture into the consideration and keep that texture with the changing lighting behavior one question may be come in the mind okay what if if i take this roto and do our classical method by patching so we take merge and i will take same translation and mask with this roto yes you can do this patch but as soon as do patch our footage is stabilized so take from here so as soon as you did the patch the lighting is not matching so in paint node taking that patch texture and keep lighting changes intact if you do this manual way in merge so now you have to match light changing perfectly we can add detail in multiple ways if i don't give details like this you can suppose i take const i am just showing random examples use as per your short requirement so suppose i take constant and i applied grain and attach to the details so if you see here grain texture coming as a details so details taking this texture so the purpose is whatever texture you want to use you can give that to the detail input so detail input always take external details as a texture so this is the purpose of detail tab now a stretch so i have one another footage which i downloaded from the action vfx and here i want to remove this so i want to just stabilize and i did roto so i will take in paint node and again mat mat selection mat alpha here it's gone so again it looks patchy we want this pattern should be continued so here this stretch features help us so stretch greater the amount greater the stretch happens and direction you can rotate that stretch as soon as you increase see this stretch is happening and as soon as i change the direction i am rotating this stretching so rotate till you find it's aligned so now this pattern is aligned if i on and off this it's completely gone cleaned and pattern is aligned so this is the use of a stretch and direction now check all the results by inverting a stabilization we can see that in paint node quickly done the cleanup so use this whenever you needed some very quick cleanup which is not very complex and you are required to do your own cleanup in your own compositing shot i hope this would be helpful thank you